Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you already know what I'm gonna be doing today. Most of you probably know that I upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, but today it's Wednesday when this goes live, so this is a bonus video for you guys. I was not expecting this. I got a PR package from Jaclyn Cosmetics today, and it's this right here. All of her liquid lipsticks and her lip liners are also above it. I am shocked still. I was seriously not expecting this. I was really excited about this new liquid lipstick and lip liner launch. If you guys know me, you know I am a lip person. I collect more lipsticks and hang on to more lipsticks than any other category in my makeup room. And lip liners are also something that I feel like are such a staple in my everyday makeup routine. So when I saw that Jaclyn was launching lip liners and liquid lipsticks, I got really excited. I have it in my calendar because again, I was not expecting to receive this in PR. This collection will launch on the 18th, which is tomorrow if you're watching this on the day that I upload. And one thing you guys should know about me, even though I do this full time, like I review makeup for you guys, I am a makeup consumer at the end of the day. So when it came to this collection, I was fully prepared. It was in my calendar. I was fully prepared to camp out on the website and choose the colors. But for me, I hadn't seen anybody post anything yet doing swatches or actual live swatches on the lips. And I really feel like that would have been helpful going into the launch to see the lipsticks actually all over the lips on somebody. So that's what I'm gonna do for you guys today. So I will do some arm swatches, but this is mostly going to be just so you guys can see the colors. I will also give you my feedback based off my first impressions on the formula. And because this is a lot and there's a lot of different shades, I will make sure to be as organized as possible in the description box. So if you have certain shades you wanna see, we will have some timestamps. If you wanna just see the lip liners, you'll be able to jump to that portion of the video. If you want to hear like my overall opinion, you'll be able to jump to that portion of the video as well. So let's not waste any more time. We've got a lot to swatch today. I'm really excited and really grateful to have been sent this. So thank you so much to Jaclyn Cosmetics, to Jaclyn and to her team. I seriously am pinching myself still. And I am so curious to see exactly how these formulas feel, how they compare to the rest of my lipstick collection. Cause again, I'm a lipstick freak. So I definitely will be able to tell you guys if it compares to anything else in my collection or whatever. So here here is the collection all lined up. Obviously, it's gonna be more important to see the swatches, so she will be launching 12 lip liners and 15 liquid lipsticks. Let's get swatching. I'm gonna do the arm swatches first, and I figured that we would do the liquid lipsticks first and then the lip liners second. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all 15 shades on my arm and I'll show you guys. I am not a professional swatcher, so I'm sorry if they don't look incredible, but I just wanted to give you guys a good idea of the lineup. Also, of course, a little disclaimer before we go in full live swatching on the lips. Obviously, I am only one person, and so keep in mind when it comes to lipsticks, depending on your skin tone and undertone, colors will look differently. So this is just gonna be, hopefully, to help you guys get an idea of how they look on the lips. Of course, it will look different on me, but just for reference as well, I am usually fair to light in foundations with a neutral undertone. So that'll maybe give you a good baseline for what my personal undertone is as I put these on my lips. Okay, folks, so here are my amateur swatches. <laughs> these are the liquid lips. These will each retail for $20. Let's start with the deepest and move our way up to the lightest. So we have Feisty right here. Next up, we have Be Bold. This one is Gratitude. I'm a Cancer, absolutely. Outspoken, I'm gonna move over here a little bit more. <laughs> Mama, which I'm really excited about. Crabby. Truth, Be Brave, Confidence, Empowered, Oh Hi, Get Real, and last but not least, we have Nudie. So here's the range so you can get a good idea of it. What I really enjoy is I feel like there's a good variety. There's some of these over here that lean very peachy pink, which I'm excited about, and then some like this one right here, which is like a pretty good neutral nude tone. Really excited, okay. Seeing it swatched on an arm is one thing. So of course, let's start the actual lip swatches. Pray for my lips, folks. <laughs> it seems like they are staining the arms a little bit, so that could mean that they might provide a little bit of like a lip stain as you wear them. I guess we'll find out, right? My lips are probably guaranteed to be pretty stained by the end of this, but it's okay, it's worth it, right? I feel like it's so much more helpful 
at least for me as a lipstick consumer, I love seeing lip colors on the lips. So let's start with the lightest shade. I'm just gonna make sure that there's nothing on the lips. I did have a little lip balm on earlier. Keep in mind that a lot of these might look a little better paired with a lip liner. Let's start off with Nudie. This is the lightest shade in the collection. This is not a shade that I personally would wear all over the lips, but let's just see how it looks anyway. Wow, actually, I'm really impressed by the coverage of this. So the lightest shade is definitely very, very light. It's almost like a concealer effect for me personally. I feel like it makes my lips completely disappear. So here's Nudie on the lips. Obviously, it would look a lot better with a lip liner, but I'm trying to give you an idea of each individual product by itself. I actually am impressed by the coverage because a lot of times with these types of colors, they can set a little bit patchy and this one doesn't. This is also my first time trying on the formula and it feels very lightweight. It's a little bit more of like a thin formula going on, but then it dries down and it's not like a tight dry. It definitely feels like it's gonna wear a long time, but it's not super, super dry feeling. So anyway, <laughs> here's the lightest shade. You've seen enough of that one now. It actually removes really nicely with just a makeup wipe. Usually when I do um, liquid lipstick, swatches, I need to have like a thing of olive oil to help break it down, but that actually removed quite nicely. Okay, next up we have Get Real. Still pretty light, but this one has a little bit more of a peachy neutral undertone. I'm just using my finger to kind of press the center. That's what I always do with any lighter colored lipstick. I feel like you do have a little bit of play time to make sure that your lines are nice and precise, but it does dry down fairly quickly. It's not one of those liquid lipsticks that doesn't dry down for like 30 minutes. I feel like it gives you just the right amount of time to apply it and blend it out before it sets. So here's the shade Get Real. Next up is Oh Hi. This one's actually lighter than Get Real. It's in a similar family as Nudie, the first one I tried on, but this one is obviously more of a pink undertone. Taking my fingers again to just press that in. I always do this with these types of light, light colors just to make sure it's diffused. So here's Oh Hi on the lips. I know so many people that can really, really pull off this super light nude lip. I personally don't feel like I'm someone who can. So for me, I like to use these types of lip colors to lighten up deeper colors. And of course, having a deeper lip liner would help make this kind of a color a little more defined. But anyway, here's what that one looks like on the lips. Next up, we have the shade Empowered. So the first four are definitely pretty light. This one has a little bit more of like a peachy undertone, like a peachy pink. That's actually really pretty. I feel like I would wear this one with a lip liner. Again, it's a little too light for me personally, for my personal taste, to wear all over the lips like this, but with a lip liner, I feel like it would be really, really nice. So here is Empowered. I like this one, I really do. I feel like it's rare for me to find super, super light lipsticks that I feel like flatter in undertone, and this undertone is really flattering in my opinion. Nice, okay. Next up, we have the shade Confidence. I watched Jacqueline's swatch video when she uploaded it. I think that was last week, and she said that this one was one of her personal go-tos. So let's see how this looks. Okay, yeah, we're definitely moving into deeper shades now. A little bit goes a long way with these lipsticks because they are a pretty thin formula, so they spread really easily. Okay, this one is very, very beautiful. I can see why Jacqueline reaches for this one a lot. I could see myself reaching for this, especially with a lip liner. I always, always use lip liners with my lipsticks, but even on its own, I feel like this one is a really nice wearable color. For me personally, it's not too light to wear on its own, but it's also not too deep to where it doesn't give you that very nude lip effect. But then there's a nice peachy undertone that brings the life back into the complexion. That's a really pretty shade. Again, these dry down pretty fast, but they don't feel super uncomfortable, which is nice because I feel like there was a time for a while where all of us were into very, very drying matte lipsticks. Next up, I'm gonna swatch the shade Be Brave. I am really excited about this one. This one would have been one of the lipsticks I think I would have picked up. Yes, okay. This one is really pretty and also very flattering. I feel like this color with a lip liner, again, would be amazing, but obviously we're just trying to see what the liquid lipsticks look like. I love these types of colors with a bit of a deeper, mauve lip liner, so we'll have to try that. Once I swatch the lip liners at the end, I will try to do a couple of lip combos so we can get an idea of um, some colors that might look good together. But yeah, here's Be Brave. Next up, we have the shade Truth, which is another one of Jaclyn's favorites. Let's see what this one looks like. Hmm. This particular formula feels a little more moussey, 
and just slightly thicker than the others that I've tried so far. Here's Truth All of the Lips. Again, I think this would look really pretty in the center of the lips with a deeper lip liner, but it is also pretty all over the lips too. Next up, I'm really excited to try on this shade called Krabby. This is one of the more um, colorful lipsticks in the collection. It just has a bit more of like a almost coral undertone, but like a muted coral. Ooh. Now this one to me stands out on its own. I don't think you would need to pair it with a lip liner to be able to make it look really nice, at least for me and how it looks on me. It's like an understated statement. This lip has a really beautiful tone and undertone. I think this could be my favorite so far, just because I feel like, again, it kind of stands out on its own. You wouldn't need to do much to it or wear a certain lip liner to make it work. I think it works all over the lips, like as soon as you apply it. Next up, I think I'm the most excited about this. I would be the most excited about the most colorful lipstick in this range. Um, this is the shade Mama. So this is the same shade as the shade Mom in her original lipstick collection. I loved that color. And so I'm really happy that she brought back that color in this formula. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, there's just something about this color that I really, really like. I feel like I would still pair this with a little bit of a deeper lip liner since it is more on the cool tone side. I think a lip liner would really help ground the edges, but I think it's such a fun, wearable, bold color. So again, here's Mama. I really like that one. Next up, we're gonna try on the shade Outspoken. This is one of the more colorful colors in the range as well. Ooh. Okay, I really like that one, especially with spring and summer coming up. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this color. That is pretty, yes. Okay, this might be my favorite. I'm keeping track of my favorites, you guys, and I will have my personal top picks based off of the shade in the description box. Wow, that's a really good color. Ooh, I don't really wanna take this one off. Hmm, that's a good one. Okay, gosh, I wanna leave this one on, I really do. I feel like it matches my blush really nicely today. But we're not done yet, so on to the next. Next up, I'm gonna try on the shade Absolutely. I feel like my lip lines are starting to get really interesting. <laughs> okay, so we're going back to the nude colors. This one is definitely a really nice warm tone. This one is really nice as well. I could picture it being beautiful with obviously like a warm toned look and a warm toned blush. That's really nice. I feel like it's not too, too warm because I feel like there are some warm toned nudes that lean a little bit too yellow to the point where it doesn't look that great or flattering on my personal skin tone. I feel like this one leans more warm, but it's still neutral enough to be really, really flattering. That's a nice one. All right, folks, we have four left. Next up, I'm gonna try on I'm a Cancer. Ooh, this one's cool. So this one is a little bit lighter than absolutely. And I feel like it's definitely neutral, but it leans more toward the cool brown side. It's not super cool to where it has like a gray undertone, but there is that slight grungy, more cool kind of 90s undertone with this one. That's really nice. I have a feeling this would be very, very pretty with a lip liner as well. The more it dries down, the more I like it too. Hmm. I would love to hear what you guys think about these shades. List off your favorite shades in the comments. Wow, this one actually is surprising me. The longer I'm wearing it, the more I like it. That's really nice. Next, I'm gonna try on the shade Gratitude. Here's Gratitude all over the lips. Sorry, my lip lines are starting to get a little bit weird. This one's not as flattering on me personally, but I could see how if you had a little bit more of a medium to deep skin tone, this could be a really nice all over lip color or just something to kind of brighten up the center of the lips. On its own on me, I feel like it's okay. I feel like if I was going for a little bit more of a 90s look, a lip liner would really help. I'm telling you guys, I think the lip liners are really gonna be game changing when it comes to the overall effect of these lip colors. Well, what do you guys think about this lip color? I can't decide if it flatters me or not. You should tell me in the comments. Okay, we have two left of the liquid lipsticks and then we've gotta do the lip liners. Okay, second to last, we have Be Bold. Ooh, this one's more of like a reddish brown. That is so pretty. I could see myself personally reaching for a color like this or this color in the fall. <sighs> yes, ooh, I really like that one a lot. I think the red in it really makes it flattering. Ooh, wow, that one surprised me actually. Such a good fall lipstick. It gives me, yeah, just fall vibes for sure. Okay, you guys, last but not least, the 15th shade is called Feisty. Let's see what this one looks like all over the lips. 
I'm really doing my best on the lip lines, you guys. I'm sorry if they're not perfect. Okay, so here's Feisty, wow. Ooh, actually, that is gorgeous. I was not expecting to love this one as much as I do. There's something very powerful about it. Ooh, am I crazy or does this look really nice? Wow, feisty, really? I was not expecting to love this one as much as I am. Another stunning, like, bold statement color. I would probably wear this in the fall as well. Oh my gosh, it's really nice. That was the last one. My lips are already pretty stained, but we still have 12 lip liners to swatch, so let's get to it. Okay, folks, we are back with the arm swatches. Here are the 12 lip liners. These will retail for $18 each. We're gonna go deepest to lightest. Actually, I feel like some of them are kind of mixed in here, but we're going from left to right. First up, we have Bold Brew, Toasty. Then we have Hot Tea. This one is Praline. This one here is Bourbon. This one is Caramel Latte. I'm excited about that one. <laughs> I'm into mobs. <laughs> this one right here is Cupcake, Macaron, Butter Pecan, Coffee Cake, chai tea, and then blondie. There they are, let's get to swatching on the lips. This might take a long time, but it's worth it. I really hope it's worth it. I hope it's helpful to you guys to be able to get a good idea of the shades you might want to get. All right, lip liners, here we go. We're starting off with blondie, the lightest shade in the bunch. I'm gonna kind of fill in the lips with these. That's how I personally apply lip liners anyway. Ooh, the lip liners apply it really, really smooth, and they give almost like a blurring effect to the outer corners of the lips. So again, here's the first one. This is Blondie, and as you can tell, compared to the actual liquid lipstick range, this is starting off a lot deeper, which is why I feel like I really need to try some of the lighter shades paired with a lip liner, because that's really what's gonna ground the entire effect, having that lip liner that's a little bit deeper, and then giving the dimension with a lighter color in the center, so. Yeah, here's Blondie, really pretty. Next up, I'm gonna try out Chai Tea. Okay, so this one's a little bit more of like a cream formula. The first one, Blondie, had a tiny bit of shimmer to it, just a tiny, tiny bit. This one is a little bit more opaque and a little bit more of like that fully matte formula. Pretty, I'm already liking these lip liner shades. So again, there is Chai Tea all over the lips. Next up, we've got Coffee Cake. These are nice, you guys. The way that they glide across the lips without any skipping or like scratching, because you know how sometimes lip liners can either be too buttery to where they don't really grip to the lips, and then others can be too stiff to where it almost like scratches your lips. This is like the perfect balance. Okay, nice, I really like this one too. This is Coffee Cake. I could see this being an amazing lip liner base to a lot of those first few shades in the range. I think it would really mesh with a lot of the colors. Okay, next up we have Butter Pecan, which I'm pretty sure in Jacqueline's video, she said this was her all-time favorite. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. Ooh, gosh, I love the blurring properties in this. I'm into these lip liners already, if you can't tell. Mmm, that's pretty. Okay, so again, this is Butter Pecan. I feel like Coffee Cake and Butter Pecan are sort of similar. Butter Pecan leans a little bit more peachy, where Coffee Cake is a little bit more of like a brownie warm tone, but very similar. Next up we have Macaron, which is a really pretty pink. This one, it has quite a bit of shimmer when I swatched it on my arms. It's definitely a little more frosty. Ooh, wait a minute, okay. This is like a barely there lip liner. So if you're not a huge lip liner fan, but you want to have a little bit of a very natural definition to the lips, this would be a good option. I personally feel like this is a standalone type of product. I could picture myself lining the lips, which is helpful after doing your makeup anyway. You know, if you have foundation around the lip area, it can kind of help to bring back that dimension and shape but I could really see myself wearing this all over the lips and then popping a lip gloss on top, like even a clear gloss. That's really pretty. This one actually surprised me. I'm into that. But yeah, definitely more of like a barely there kind of color. You can see the slight sheen that it gives. Great lip liner for like no makeup makeup days. I don't own a lip liner that looks like that. I actually like that a lot more than I thought it would. It's really pretty. Next up we have the shade Cupcake. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, you know when you know, you know when you know. <laughs> That's basically what I'm trying to say. Oh, there's just certain colors that if you are a lip junkie like myself, you just know 
what flatters you, you know what you would reach for. This is that kind of a color for me. Gorgeous, wow. Gorgeous like standalone color. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite so far. No question, I'm gonna make sure to mark that down. <laughs> Beautiful, oh my gosh. I would totally wear this again on its own and I'm excited to see how it would pair with a liquid lipstick. Cupcake for the win, friends. Next, I'm gonna try on the shade Caramel Latte. Oh, wait a minute. <gasps> this one though. I don't think I've ever tried a lip liner that's quite this formula. The way that it just somehow looks like it's your lips, that's how natural they look. And they feel so buttery on the lips too. Like it literally looks like my lips, but better. This is another incredible one, Caramel Latte. I'm writing it down. Isn't that so nice? It's definitely a little less pink than Cupcake, but I could see myself getting a lot of use out of both of those shades for sure. Next, I'm gonna try on the shade Bourbon. Ooh, another really nice shade. This one leans a little more cool toned. Ooh, wait, that's good too. I'm loving the shades of these lip liners and the formula is so good based off my first impressions. Obviously, I haven't been able to wear this for a full day, but I mean, come on, that is so good as well. Oh my, I didn't expect to fall in love with this many lip liners. Next up, we're gonna try on Praline. My lips are starting to feel numb. <laughs> That one is so pretty. I really like the rosy undertones in this. I feel like this one would pair well with some of those more kind of corally tones in the liquid lipsticks. This one's really pretty as well. Next, I'm gonna be trying the shade Hot Tea. This one's a lot more warm toned. Gosh, I can't get over this formula. It's phenomenal, you guys. The way that it just glides on the lips, wow. But then somehow gives great coverage all over the lips too. It's really, really good. So yeah, here is the shade, I already forgot, Hot Tea. This one's really nice as well. It's a solid neutral tone, I would say. Doesn't lean too cool or too warm in my opinion. All right, we're down to the last two. We've got the shade Toasty next. The way that these apply, folks. Ooh, so nice. That's actually really pretty on its own. So again, this is Toasty. This would be a great tone for fall, again, for me personally. Okay, last but not least, you guys, the last swatch. We've got the shade Bold Brew. My lips are looking pretty wild, you guys, after all those swatches, but hopefully this still gives you a good idea. My lip lines are all over the place, and this was a lip liner, but that's okay. Again, this is Bold Brew. Okay, so that completes the swatches. We're gonna move on to a couple of lip combos. I really do wanna see how they work together, obviously, since they're launching together. So I'm just gonna pick a couple of my favorites um, that I marked down just for fun. I'm gonna try out the shade Cupcake in the liner with confidence all over the lips. I'm focusing this kind of on the center and then I'm gonna take my finger and use it to blend that into the pink lip liner. See, a lip liner really does make such a difference because confidence is one of the lighter shades in the range and I really like how that blends into a pink lip liner. So here's the first combo again. I will have these combos listed out below as well. So we'll call this combo number one. I'm really into this duo. I'm actually really curious to see how the lightest shade of the lip liner looks with the lightest shade of the lipstick. So let's try it out. This is combo number two. We're gonna try out Blondie lip liner with the lightest shade called Nudie. Jacqueline also said that she does like to apply this in the very center of the lips to just brighten it up. I feel like I'm gonna kind of do that I'm just using my finger to spread that out. Okay, I'm going back over. Even though Blondie is a little bit deeper than the actual lip color, I still feel like I wouldn't use Nudie all over the lips. It's just not the most flattering for me, but I could see myself using it in the very center. I was just curious to see how the two very, very lightest colors would look together. So there you have it. This is combo number two. Combo number three, let's try something a little bit more corally. So I'm gonna take the shade Praline and apply the shade Outspoken on top. Focusing this in the center and then taking my finger again to just blend a light layer of this into the lip liner. I'm just going back over with the lip liner a little bit, just on the top lip to make sure I didn't lose any dimension. I like those two together. Isn't that pretty? Especially with spring and summer approaching, I feel like this is a really good, more wearable, bold color. It's not that bold. It's very, very easy to wear and pull off but it's a little bit more of a statement to where I feel like you could do something so simple on the eyes and have this on the lips and it would look really nice. So there's the third combo. Combo number four, let's try Caramel Latte. 
which is just to die for. I think this is my favorite lip liner shade. Let's pair that one with I'm a Cancer. I'm just playing around here, folks. This one's a little bit more of like a brown where I feel like the lip liner leans a bit more pink, but I think they could look nice together. Let's try it. Yeah, I'm definitely finding that applying just a little bit, if you do pair these with a lip liner, applying just a little bit to the center of the lips and then using a finger to pat that in and blend it makes a really beautiful finish. So here's what that looks like. This combo again is Caramel Latte with I'm a Cancer. That's a really nice combo. I like how there's a bit of that pink outer corner with the beigey nude center. I think that's a nice combination. Let's do one more combo. I'm gonna try something a bit deeper. This one is the Toasty Lip Liner. And let's pair that with the shade Be Bold. Yeah, this one's a really nice match for the lip liner if you're wondering. That one's really pretty. I like that combo together a lot. So yeah, I think that's all the combos I'm gonna try today. I might try one more maybe as I complete this video, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of how they look together. Okay, wait a minute. I think I discovered a really, really nice combo. Look at this. This is the lip liner shade Caramel Latte, which I swear is my favorite. Obviously I'll have to keep playing with them and see which one I reach for most. And then I put a little bit of the shade Be Brave of the liquid lipstick in the center and blended that out. I think they look incredible together. This is definitely my favorite lip combo that I found so far. Obviously the combos you could create are endless. So as I discover new ones, I will try to update you guys in future videos, but let's get into like my final thoughts about the overall formula of these products. Again, this is just based off my first impression. So I'm gonna do my best. Let's start off with the liquid lipsticks. For me personally, I was really, really into the colors. Once I got towards the middle and then into the deeper shades, for me personally, like I'm talking on their own, I should say. The first four or five shades, I personally would not use on their own, but I feel like using it in the center to brighten or if you know you're gonna wear a lip liner, but you want that kind of nude center, I feel like that is where I personally would reach for the lighter shades. For me, things got really exciting toward the middle and even the two deepest shades, I really, really loved. Just based off of me wearing the liquid lipsticks during filming this video, I feel like it is a very comfortable matte liquid lipstick. It does dry down. Let me see if there's transfer. <laughs> So it doesn't transfer. So it's not like a velvet mousse type of lipstick. I was wondering if it would be. It really does dry down matte, but it's not uncomfortable. It's feeling a little bit drying right now because I wiped my lip off a thousand times. So normally when I wear a liquid lip, I also like to prep my lips with a thin layer of balm so that if it does dry down, it doesn't feel too crackly on my lips, if that makes sense. But the formula feels really comfortable. A little bit goes a long way. That is something that I would recommend, not just with this formula, but with a lot of liquid lipstick formulas. I just, I don't know what it is about applying it and using your finger to blur and buff the center, especially if you're wearing a lip liner. That's what I found to be the best way to apply this without overdoing it or applying too much on accident because it is a thinner formula that spreads very easily. So it's easy to layer up too much on accident. So just putting a little bit and layering it up in the center is great. They do dry down pretty fast. So do make sure to work with it quickly because once they're dried down, it feels like they're not really gonna move anywhere. As I'm touching my lips, it has a nice kind of soft velvety feel still. So it doesn't feel crusted on the top, even though it's completely dry. Overall, I really enjoyed the formula so far of the liquid lipsticks. I personally am someone who always layers some sort of balm product or a gloss on top. So I'll have to put that to the test later on to see how it would feel and look with something a little bit more shiny on the top. That's just my personal taste these days. I enjoy having more of a balmy, glossy feel to the lips. But yeah, I thought they were really nice so far. I'll keep you guys posted. If you wanna know what my favorite shades were, I will have them starred in the description box down below. Let's move on to the lip liners. The lip liners, I didn't know I was going to say it, but I almost feel like if you could only buy one thing, I feel like the lip liners would be really, really worth it. If you're somebody like me and you own a lot of different lip colors, or liquid lipsticks, you know, maybe the liquid lipsticks wouldn't be something that would add to your collection as far as formula goes. When it comes to these lip liners, I really don't think I've tried anything like them. 
The way that they glide on the lips, you guys, they are definitely super high quality. I am a lip liner freak as well, so I've tried all sorts of lip liners, drugstore and high-end included, and these are some of the most beautiful formulas that I've tried. I can't really explain it, the way that it's so pigmented, but moussey, but firm enough to where you can still get a nice definition and it's not gonna like just bleed everywhere. I mean, that's what happens with these lip products. I think it's so nice and beautiful. And the shade Caramel Latte for me, I mean, that's everything for me. This lip combo is so beautiful. This is totally my speed. I definitely do lean a little more toward the mauve cool tone, so I feel like this lip combo specifically caters to that. But yeah, overall, I feel like this is a really, really nice collection. The lip liners, I feel like, are more exciting to me as far as formula goes than the liquid lipsticks, but when you combine them together, you can really create something beautiful. And that was the idea as far as I'm concerned with this collection. I think it's really fun that you can try them out and just customize your lip combo because ultimately, that's the best when you can find your go-to lip liner shade, your go-to lip color shade. But yeah, I'm really glad that I was able to receive this and try on all the colors. I hope that it helped you guys. What I realized from this personally, because I was literally considering buying every single shade of lip liner and every single lipstick, because I was just so excited about this collection as I'm sure so many of you guys are, what I realized from actually receiving this and being able to try them out one by one is that I don't think this was necessarily a collection that was meant to be something that you could utilize every single shade in and look incredible and feel amazing in every single shade. So it helped me realize that this truly is a collection where you want to kind of think about the colors that you typically wear the undertones that you feel flatter you most, and then kind of scale it down and make your selections based off of that. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but I basically realized that not every single shade in here was the most flattering on me or made me super giddy, but at the same time, I'm my own person. I gravitate towards certain colors, certain things flatter me more than somebody else. So someone else might enjoy a completely different lip combo than what I'm suggesting. And I think that's the beauty of lip products altogether. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was worth it. My lips are literally on fire, <laughs> but I really do hope that this helped you in some way. I hope that it helps you kind of narrow down your selections if you are hoping to purchase something from this launch or even if you're not planning on purchasing anything this time around. I hope you enjoyed watching all the colors and all the swatches. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today, you guys. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. I will have all of this information because I know it was a lot of colors, a lot of swatching, a lot of info, so I will have it broken down in the description box as in-depth as possible for you. I truly hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!